Yes, who now has foundation? My beauty. And I should be 175 or 180, but well, we'll see. Hey y'all, welcome back, happy new year, happy birthday. Whatever it is that I missed, I'm back this year. I just feel like this year is gonna be great. As the title suggests, I'm gonna be reviewing and demonstrating the new Bike Beauty complexion system. They call it the new face of clean. Thank you to Influencer who sent me all of these products look at this picture it's like so diverse you know what i mean so a little bit about the line i'm gonna be really quick and then we're gonna go straight into like how i did all of this the so they say change up your makeup routine with clean extreme long wear complexion in three simple steps plus a bold lip i think the line is completely clean which i'm really i really like because a lot of these brands now are becoming clean like when you go to sephora and you see like the green tick clean at sephora it it shows that all the ingredients have been checked and um they are they shouldn't be toxic or bad for you or your skin and also if you're new to my channel hello welcome please do subscribe i'm gonna be doing videos like this quite a bit yes i shall in the name of jesus because procrastination <clears throat> excuse me procrastination seems to like me and i'm trying to overcome that this year in 2020 so yes i will be doing videos like this quite a bit um yeah now <laughs> let's let's get into the video so I'm about to apply the primer according to the website it says that it's gonna neutralize your skin type grip foundation for flawless lasting wear this one is the mattifying one. They also tell you what's in it and they also tell you how to use it. So after skincare, check. I just use my Summer Fridays jet lag mask. After skincare, smooth evenly over face as the first clean layer in our complexion system. For best results, follow with change maker supercharge micellar foundation and change maker flexible coverage pressed powder that's all there so we're gonna follow or well, we're gonna try to follow all the instructions and see what the results will be mind you i have already um tried it <laughs> i tried it um was it yesterday or day before yesterday and it's pretty good so the primer feels when it applies it feels like a lotion but it i don't think it has silicone in it but it gives you that kind of a slip but i do feel that it really did mattify my skin it doesn't feel like the hydro grip primer from milk makeup which gives you like a little bit of a grip this really does mattify Moving along, let's go to the foundation. So I'm gonna apply this little sample that I got from Sephora, D175. That's what she looks like. Okay guys, so I swatched three foundations the first one on the left is the d180 from bite beauty the middle is actually juvia's place in the shade togo that's usually the shade that i go for like a 
neutral deep shade and the one on the right is the bite beauty d175 and that's the one that i'm gonna put on the majority of my face and on the perimeter i'm gonna put d180 so i'm just gonna read about the foundation but look as you can clearly see here d180 is obviously rich deep cool undertone but d175 is rich deep rich deep with neutral with neutral bronze undertone ah that's supposed to be perfect for me but i see more of a slightly red undertone and so on the website they say make the change finally clean high performance are no longer mutually exclusive this creamy long wearing foundation perfects your skin with a buildable medium coverage that is correct um, the secret we use antioxidant rich superfood maki 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 berry and gentle micellar technology that works with and feels good on your skin even if you're sensitive micellar technology okay oh so they do describe what micellar technology is um is it blending out okay yes it is all right so micellar technology according to bite beauty is um inspired by skincare it gently mimics skin texture for a smooth non-cakey look okay 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 i'll take it oh my gosh i sound like joey from the circle if you guys are not looking at the circle on netflix you're missing your entire life like yo the circle yo pick me pick me choose me Grey's anatomy reference but it really is entertaining but going back to the foundation they tell you how to use it they say dot the foundation onto your cheeks forehead and nose okay i didn't do that but okay for best results use your thing use your fingers or a brush start from the center of your face and blend outward okay build coverage with fingers on places that you need it okay okay noted so i guess if like there's a spot that is still show Ooh. okay skin okay so i think i'm gonna put like a little bit more on my chin let's put you know what we're gonna do i'm gonna put a darker shade I'm gonna put the darkest shade on the perimeter of my face and I will use my fingers for that so let's just blend that in okay and what I kind of didn't like was that these two shades are very similar it's just that d180 is darker but in but for me um they're very close maybe on someone that's fairer you might see a very clear difference but um on me but on me i feel like they look the same even though they clearly are not the same let's put some of that there some of that there my face is very nice smooth it looks very skin like um most actually 
all of my dark marks are covered up but i did use about like i would say two layers oh my gosh look at these oh pinky in the brain obviously this one's brain because it's bigger okay we're gonna move on to powder and this is in the shade deep two and um Bite Beauty, I know, I know that y'all have some more pigment in that nice little Bite Beauty lab that you have, you know, where you guys have like Mike Johnson and all these cute guys coming in. Y'all could like just put, look, look at the pigment in the foundation, where is it? Look at this, look at this, nice chocolate. And then like, how is this deep? How is this? However, if you guys market this as a, as a deep translucent, like a translucent powder for deeper shades, I don't mind because it works that way. But like this, oh yeah, this is, this is not, not, this is like tan. This is not deep. That's my only qualm. But the finish, oh my goodness, it's like, it's like butter. It's like butter. It's like, like you see, it works as like a nice translucent powder right there. You see? Let me use the, the powder puff is so cute and it has the bite logo on it. This gives you like a whole lot more coverage. And it's really nice and smoothing. Oh my goodness, it's amazing. Like, see? You see that? And that's just like, bam. This will be good if I wanna like, touch up my makeup. But yeah, let me just put that there. Kind of a reverse contour, but not. Oh, you can see the clear difference between the side where I used the brush and this side I used the puff. This side definitely has a lot more coverage and is a lot more bright. Uh, let me um, just read a little bit about the powder. They say clean beauty can be high performance too. I agree. The proof is in the powder. This long wearing super light, ooh, true, true. Super light powder lets you boost your coverage for a silky soft matte finish that melts with your skin. That's because it's made with antioxidants, super rich food, macchi berry, and finely milled volcanic minerals, not talc to blur, control, shine, and mattify. Okay, now this talc-free thing, I, I will say I'm impressed and I'm happy because even though talc is like in baby powder and other, and other things, um, I think they found like some studies that relate it to like cancer like skin cancer but that's like do your own research but I, I remember seeing something like that so now we're gonna move on to the lip I really like this lip crayon it's such a nice pink like a mauve rose pink it's in the shade no Nino no no Nino I, I don't know if that's Spanish for something but as you can see it has like this nice little cut like a bite is like a bite out of the cap that's cute I really like this but for most nudish looking lipsticks I have to use a lip liner so So it is super creamy and the pencil tends to like bend in the direction that you press it against. So try to apply it evenly if that makes sense.
Well, but I feel like this is like a waste of product. But I, but I do, I do get what what they mean. So it is getting a whole lot um, sharper. But I don't want to waste any more product. Con wasting product pro, you can really get a precise application. So. Uh, listen, I am a college student, okay? So if I could save in any way, I, I shall. I was kind of going for a, um, an Adidas Ivy Park collection kind of look. <laughs> you know, Beyonce, if you want to like, just send your collection to me. I can send my address. I can link my address below. Just let me know. Let me know. I will say everything performed exactly how they said it would um, everything was really really great I think my only con would be the powder um, even though it performed well it's very silky it's very smooth it gives you that um, added coverage I really gotta deduct points for the fact that this is not deep this is like 10 if you want to tell me it's a deep translucent powder i can agree like i think we can compromise on that but um i would say get it it works well with the primer and the foundation as it should it's super soft super smooth very light like it's perfect i just wish it was a little bit deeper so hopefully maybe we could get a deep dark four because i'm not the darkest person and um people who are darker than me probably won't like this but the shade range you guys have 32 i believe if i'm correct and the shade range is really good there is the last shade is d185 and that one is super deep the shade range for the foundations are amazing so kudos for that the primer really that thing mattifies and it's not like sucking your skin in and making it feel like super super dry it's very comfortable and that also works very well with the foundation what's the last thing the lip crayon y'all i think i'm gonna put in like swatches of the other shades that i tried on my hand this right here is my favorite one damson oh my gosh it's amazing in these lip crayons oh my gosh amazing like bite beauty makes the best lip products so bite beauty y'all complexion system is off the chain my only thing is if you guys could get this a little bit deeper i'd be very happy but i'm very impressed with the performance of every single thing i tried this uh yesterday and i did a nice little wear test at Many hours. I've been to Manhattan, I've been to Brooklyn, yeah. and now I'm back home in Queens. But my face still looks good. Hey guys, so thank you so much for watching the video. Um, if you're not subscribed, do subscribe, like, share the video. Um, I'm gonna leave my other videos right here. Please go check them out. And thank you all so, so much for watching. And I will definitely see you all in my next one. Bye.